Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Morning, everyone. Okay, so people are coming up with the title of Collaborador. Apoyador. What the heck? Instead of supporter, they're giving it to us in some other language. <laughs> and then it changes it to supporter. I guess it decided I'm speaking English. Maybe I was speaking something else. I don't know. at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How's the puppy? Uh, I don't know. I've lost him. <laughs> I think he's sleeping in the, in the big dog bed because he thinks he's the big dog. Um, so we have guests visiting with three more Cavaliers, so it's really fun having seven of them racing around, and I'll post some video of them all together. It's, it's pretty fun. It's a swirling dervish of fluffy tails. Oh, found the puppy. Hey, what are you knocking over? Come here. <laughs> come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you're getting yourself in trouble. Say hi. Say, I'm getting myself in trouble. It's, mm, it's what I do. There. Who's that puppy? You probably need to go piddle. Maybe I should hang on to you. All right. So this weekend, what day did we do that? Friday? Saturday? Um, so Ivan, Ivan the Wonderful, is now probably about seven months old. He's our baby donkey. Um, and his mama, Ella. And when Jasmine got sick and came home from the hospital, she's just a few months older than Ivan. We separated her and put her over on the other side of the fence with the mini horses and the mini hinnies, um, which are the donkey horse, mini horse cross. So Jasmine got to live with them, but the donkeys really stick with their own kind. So they would all just kind of hang out and, you know, hang their head over the fence together. Uh, but Ivan can't decide whether he wants to be grown up Mr. Studley Man or whether he wants to still be a little baby and nurse from mama. Well, he was getting a little too rough with Jasmine, so she couldn't go back in with them when she came home. And uh, then he started getting really rough with mama. And he's, you know, one minute he's Mr. Big Man, and the next minute he's trying to nurse. But poor mama, she has uh, bad feet, and um, he literally was taking her to her knees. So we said, oh, weaning time, here we go. So he got moved, or uh, she got moved over into the field that Jasmine is in. Mama was kind of like, whew, what a relief. Uh, but again, you know, hanging over the fence, mooning at each other. Um, and then I felt bad because Ivan was by himself and he was very sad and he would stand out there and bray his very sad donkey bray. And uh, I couldn't stand it. So I went and got Cupcake, who is the boy, Minnie Hinny, And I thought, okay, well, they all know each other. We'll, we'll throw Cupcake in with Ivan to keep him company. And it actually has worked out really well. Ivan tried to have his way with Cupcake. That lasted about a half a second. And Cupcake said, nope, you won't. But now they play all the time. And it's really fun to see them racing around and playing. And so it was like the easiest weaning process ever. Like, done <laughs> five minutes uh, so the next next process will be a little neutering session for Ivan got to call the vet today so I'm not sure when that's happening but anyway uh, so in my inbox this morning I got a dissertation on maitake mushrooms because one of our uh, herbalist <clears throat> veterinarians had gone on a hike over the weekend and found wonderful maitake mushrooms and so she decided that she would share the benefits of um, maitake. Um, 
And as you know, a lot of my recipes call for shiitake, but shiitake, maitake, reishi, they're all medicinal mushrooms and all very beneficial. So a lot of the benefits are gonna be the same uh, between them. Um, so uh, maitake is also known as Grifola frondosa, hen of the woods, dancing mushroom, uh, I can't pronounce that one, king of mushrooms or cloud mushrooms. Um, and we use the fruiting bodies and the mycelia grown on grain and fermented mycelia. Uh, it has a lot of active constituents. So probably the most important are the glucans um, and phospholipids in them. And the actions of maitake mushrooms, they are immunomodulant. So this is why I really like to use them in my recipes because they're so good for the immune system. Um, they're antibacterial, anti-tumor, so really good for some cancer prevention that we want to throw in there. Antiviral, anti-candida, which is a fungus, and they're a stress reducer. So I drink mushroom teas, and this is one of the reasons because we get so many good things from these. Uh, from a TCVM standpoint, they tonify chi and blood, so that's energy, and they're going to make our blood richer. They're a spleen chi tonic, which is great for digestion. That's why we use them so much. I like to even put it in my kanji, my bone broth, uh, my diarrhea recipes. I, I love the mushroom in there. Um, and it also moves chi stagnation. So for those uh, with animals or yourself with liver chi stagnation, again, mushroom tea, mushroom is very, very good for that. Um, it's used to treat diabetes. Mushrooms will lower blood sugar. So very, very good for diabetics uh, and improves glucose tolerance. Um, uh, and it also moves stagnant chi in humans to treat chronic fatigue syndrome, which may or may not have a viral origin. I don't think anybody knows. Uh, it's used to treat hypertension. I need to make you drink more mushroom tea with me. Um, calms the shen, used as a performance enhancement, um, and clears toxins because it's antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-cancer effects. So indications from a human standpoint, uh, cancer, uh, HIV. So again, for cats with FIV, very similar. Uh, immune suppression, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia. Ooh, where's Lisa, uh, uh, Teresa? Or <laughs> she needs to drink the mushroom tea. Uh, diabetes, high cholesterol, immune suppression related to chronic disease and leukemia. Specific cancer that my Taki is effective for in humans where the research has been done, breast, colorectal, liver, prostate, and lung cancer, and neurodegenerative diseases. No cautions or contraindications. Um, herb drug interactions may potentiate insulin by lowering blood glucose. So you might need, or your pet might need less insulin if you're using mushrooms or mushroom tea as part of the diet. Um, and then they have a dosage. Uh, and what they're saying is for human, the dried herb is three quarters to seven, up to seven grams divided in daily dose. Tinctures, um, a one to two to one to three ratio, uh, about a half teaspoon, three times a day for people. For small animals, one to two grams per 10 kilograms divided daily. Um, it says, maitake is delicious. The Japanese call it the dancing mushroom and the envy of epicures. Grows in northern temperate, temperate deciduous forest. I think she found it up in Vermont. In North America, it's found primarily in Eastern Canada throughout the Northeastern and Mid-Atlantic states. It's indigenous to Northeast Japan and the temperate hardwood regions of China and Europe. It's found on stumps or at the base of dead or dying deciduous hardwoods, especially oak, elm, maple, black gum, beech, and occasionally larch. Energetically, it is neutral. Taste is bland to slightly sweet. The channels that it treats are the spleen and stomach and the heart. Um, and in Japan, it is used as a tonic. So let's see, here's some research down here. Maitake demonstrated anti-tumor effects, enhanced bone marrow colony formation, reduced doxorubicin toxicity, which is a uh, chemo drug that they call red death because it uh, affects the heart. Uh, inhibited tumor spread in, in vitro, which means in live subjects. Um, 
or sorry, in the lab, uh, promoted maturation of blood cells to functionally active cells and enhanced uh, white blood cell recovery following chemotoxic bone marrow injury. Enhanced interferon against act activity against bladder cancer cells. So for those with animals with uh, transitional cell carcinoma in the bladder, again, mushroom, very, very effective, these healing mushrooms. Uh, alleviates inflammation associated with inflammatory bowel disease. Um, exerts its effects through its ability to activate various effector cells such as macrophages, which are white blood cells, natural killer cells and T cells, which are lymphocytes, as well as interleukin-1 and superoxide anions. Um, so very, very cool, uh, all the things that we can do with something as simple as mushrooms. And that's why I like food therapy because we have so much power available and we don't always utilize it. So, um, okay, everybody, is chaos mushrooms okay? I don't know what that is, but if you mean, if it was supposed to be chaga mushrooms, chaga mushrooms are amazing and I drink chaga mushroom tea. Um, I make my own chaga mushroom tea, uh, but you could use any mushrooms to, to make tea out of. Uh, so tea is very good. Mushrooms are much more effective if they are heated or cooked to release um, uh, the, the beta glucans and the phospholipids that are in there. So, uh, I really like to saute them in coconut oil or butter when they're, <laughs> saut when they're sauteed with fats. Um, it seems to make them more effective. Somebody's little needle teeth are killing me here. Here, <laughs> say hi, say bye. <laughs> say, we're very busy. We really want to get down and play because Uncle Stewie is on the floor, but I know you have to go pee. All right, I got to go send a puppy outside to piddle. Everybody have a wonderful day. I'll see if I can get us some um, music. Welcome. Or, you know, welcome again. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. We're busy, busy, busy around here, aren't we? Poop squeak. Yeah, don't bite my ear. <laughs> Come here. Be adorable. Do what you're supposed to do. What? I want to go play with Uncle Stewie. I had to cut big knots out of Uncle Stewie's ears because somebody chewed on them. Didn't we? Ow. Bye, everyone. <laughs>